Hi everyone. I'm so glad you came by. I am so tired. Oh, by the way, I'm Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. I'm really tired. I can't think of anything that I want to talk about. I said, well, let's just sit down at the counter and we'll have a cup of coffee. So you got your coffee? I've got mine. I'm going to have a little drink. It's still with no sugar, still isn't the tastiest, but it's warm. I like warm coffee. Today's been really, really cloudy and gloomy looking all day. I got five eggs. Um, one of the little hens, or little chicks I should call, because I don't know if it's a hen yet. It's I, probably a rooster. But one of Emma's babies got on the other side with with Rhonda and her babies and I thought how did you get over there I had it blocked off really well well it got in there and every time I go to open it up to let him out or her out it goes the other direction it, they're so afraid of me it's it's a it's sad the only time they're not afraid of me is when I'm bringing out food then they all kind of try to walk on my feet as I'm trying to walk but um it was it was a gloomyish day and so I let that little chick out and um, the mama hen stopped doing her clucking because she was clucking away. And I wondered why she was clucking so much. It was because she was try telling her children to, to not get near that teenager because it's probably dangerous. I don't know if it is or not. I don't know. Mm. Who knows? But anyways. So do you get the afternoon um, sleepies? You know, when, when I was at the school, we would have... Um, Nap time at one o'clock. One o'clock, my eyes want to shut, and we'd sit there. Sit, I'd sit with somebody um, from one o'clock till um, two fifteen, about. And some days you had all you could do to keep your eyes open, rubbing their back and letting them go to sleep. And sometimes I would rock someone, and if you were rocking in the rocking chair, you really wanted to. It was really hard to stay awake, but. I still have that lull, that feeling that I want to take a nap. I don't know if any of you take naps. I know when I was growing up, we all had to take a nap. My dad worked 4 to 12. So that meant we all got up real early in the morning to, to do farm work. And then um, he had to go to work at the steel plant. So that meant at 1 o'clock, 1 o'clock till 2 o'clock, everybody was to take a nap. And I was the only one that couldn't nap. So I used to sit in a chair and read a book because if I took a nap for just a short time, I felt nauseated. It was not enough time. If I went to sleep, I had to stay to sleep till the next morning in order for me to feel well. So I used to sit and read a book, but every day from 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock, everybody was to take a nap. That was during summer vacation. When we were in school, we didn't have to worry about naps because we were in school. But um, that's what they did. They took naps every day. They watched the guiding light and searched for tomorrow. They were, they were actually, I remember when they were 15-minute shows there for a while. And then they went to a half-hour show. I don't know what they are, if they're still on and if they're, how long they are now. But they were just 15 minutes. And our TV was black and white. And I remember when we would turn the television off, I don't know if your television did this or not, when you turned it off, there was a little dot that was there, and then it would get smaller and smaller and smaller, and we'd run up to the TV and put our finger on the dot. And it was my two sisters and I, we would run for that television, because we wanted to be the one with our finger on the dot to, to, till it disappeared. It was a black and white TV. We didn't have colored. And I remember when we saw the first colored TV, we went to the neighbor's house and it was, her name was Wilma. And we went to her house and when they did the, the Peacock, the NBC, or I think it was NBC, mm -hmm. yeah, NBC, 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 and it would go boom, 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 and there'd be the Peacock would just open up and there'd be all the pretty feathers and we were like, wow, that's beautiful. Cause our TV was all black and white. Everything was black and white. And when they started um, making colored shows, like some of the old shows, they started tinting the, the um, film somehow. They made it so that they could be in color, too. Like some of the I Love Lucy shows were actually black and white, and they've kind of changed them a little bit to where they've, they've got some color to them. It was kind of interesting. Well, 
I guess that's it for today. I'll let you go. I've enjoyed this little chat. I thought I was going to find nothing to talk about, but it seemed like I found something. So it happens every time. Like when you get company. You have nothing to talk about, but then you have lots to talk about. And it's amazing how it happens. Well, you have a great evening, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.